Hello again, Internet. This is Ben with a Mysterious Ben update. This one is unfortunately super short. I don't have anything I can really show, um, but I have been working. It's just that I haven't got things to a point where they work. So let's show you an example. Let's start a new game and see how much it crashes or just freaks out and doesn't do anything anymore. Um, so the problem is that I've been updating everything to support multiple players, local co-op, um, and here's just the latest change of files. I'm adding many lines and removing many lines, I promise. Um, but there's just a lot of code to change to get things to work uh, for multiplayer. And let me actually slide the window over so we can look at, at some of the stuff. Um, so, and I'm just going to talk about one of the, where I'm at now because the game I've updated a bunch of the code to where I believe it will work to have multiple players. And I know that everything isn't going to work perfectly. There's going to be some funny bugs, um, like all the weather effects, like ashes, snow, um, what the stars in the background are. I've implemented with a, with like a weather system for particle effects. Uh, anyway, none of those are going to work right now. I know that for sure. There's probably other bugs I, I'm I, I can't predict. Um, but but the bulk of stuff is going to work with multiplayer. I think I haven't gotten there yet because now where I'm at is during the character creation screen. Uh, we need to ask you what players you're going to play with, um, and you know everything's got to be updated to support potentially set two players. So let me just run again so we can look at this menu. Um, so when you select a new game here, uh, and again, I, I can't even get past here, and actually I don't know why. Is the game freezing? It doesn't say it's not responding. Um, but anyway, um, when you get to that, to that screen after that where you would choose a ship and enter in uh, your name and, and, and all that stuff, uh, it now, I, I want there to be the possibility of adding a second player. And the best way to do that, the way you would do that in any other game, is you would say, you know, wait for someone to press a button on the controller that you want to add. Um, think of like Castle Crashers or uh, like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I've, been, I've played some of that recently, or the, the, the Mario game on Wii U as well. I happened to get a Wii U a little while ago, so I happened to have been playing those games. Um, or, or, I don't know, even Borderlands. I mean, all those games, you know, you, you press A on another controller and the player gets added. The game currently has has been 100% single-player geared. And again, I've tried to keep some things agnostic, I guess you'd say, to how many players there are going to be. But but I haven't done that as much as I, as I would have liked. Uh, but so, for example, you could control everything switching between a keyboard and any controller you happened to have plugged in. Um, and actually, I think that's not true. I just grabbed the first controller it found and said, that's the controller you're going to use. Uh, but there's really no reason it did that, honestly. But anyway, so you could just switch between. So you could play the game you know, with your, with your gamepad, and then, and then right in the middle of the game, you could put down the gamepad and grab the keyboard and start doing, doing that. It, that's not going to be acceptable for a two-player game. It's going to have to be, you know, a player is going to have to be bound to a controller. Um, and that controller could be a keyboard, or it could be a Xbox controller that's plugged in. So I need to now add one of those sorts of screens like you see, where it's saying, okay, here's player one, or you, here's no players, you know, press, press a button on whatever controller you want to use, and that will be player one, and then press a button on a different controller to add a second player. Um, and, and so that's the route I'm going to go. And, and I believe I am almost there. Again, I wish I had something to show you. Um, the reason why I wanted to post, even though I don't have something to show you, is just to reassure you that I have made a lot of work, um, a lot of progress. A lot of work has been done. Um, I'm making great progress. I'm actually really happy. And I am happy that I did this. I don't know. I should have done it sooner, but I'm glad I'm doing it now rather than later, you know, because the longer I wait to, to do local co-op, the harder it would be to make all these changes. Uh, so it's great to get this done as soon as possible. I already can tell that some of the UI stuff isn't going to be super great. Um, like. I really want so that one player pauses. I mean, when you open up your inventory, I feel like the game needs to pause. And so that means that when if player one pauses, player two is going to get paused as well. But I don't have a great way to let you both navigate that menu at the same time. Just the way the code is structured isn't going to allow that. Um, and, and I think I can, you know, I can change that, of course. It's just a matter of, of time and restructuring a lot of the code. It would be a large uh, restructuring of the code. So I don't know that when, I, when local co-op first comes out, the UI is not going to be super great. Um, 
but but I'm going to work on that. Or or maybe I look at something and go, oh, this will actually be easy. I mean, that's possible too. Uh, but but from what I you know from looking at the code again and thinking about the things I'd have to change, I, I it, again I kind of wish I had done this sooner because I would have uh, designed some things differently. But I didn't. So so here we are. Um, but it, it has been going pretty well. I expected it actually to be more difficult than it is. So just wanted to let you guys know progress is being made. Local co-op is going to be a thing. Um, and I would also like to, I don't know how if I'll get this uh, in for this next release, for this upcoming release, but I would like to at some point have a player versus player, just like a quick thing. It would be on that very title screen. It wouldn't be part of playing the regular game. It would just be like, I want to do a quick battle with my friend. And the... Um, way I'm thinking of doing that is giving you equipment, um, like, or, sorry, a, a common pool of a bunch of items, you know, it could be alien artifacts, could be different equipment pieces, um, and, and then you would, you would take turns drafting, so the player who goes first would pick a piece of item, I think then the player who goes second would pick two, and then the first player would pick two, and I'd have you alternate picking two, picking two, picking two, um, like that, because uh, I don't want the person who picks first to get, you know, it, I, I'm trying to, to make sure that even though you're taking turns, it's, it's even. Um, so, so we'll see how it, how it works, and, um, and, and then you would be in a level and you just shoot each other and try to see who dies, whatever. So that's my idea for just a quick 1v1 kind of thing. Uh, I was talking about this with a friend and he was like, there should be enemy ships that are also coming in there, so it's basically a three-way battle with, with enemy ships shooting everyone, and yeah, I should, that would be fun too. Um, so, so I don't know, you know, I'll have fun. Um, the, the main goal though for now is to make it so that you can do local cooperative play, uh, and I don't know if I'll get the battle mode in. It depends on how long the rest of this takes, whether or not I'm like, oh, God, I just need to release, you know, rather than waiting even longer. I really want to get get the releases out to you guys as quick as possible. Um, and because I have been unable to do that, again, why I wanted to do this video, I feel kind of bad not having, uh, you know, video to show or, or a new release, you know, for you guys to download and um, or buy at this point. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that progress is being made. Do not lose hope, <laughs> and I don't want to lose hope either. It, um, and and I haven't. I mean, it's going great. It's going it's going pretty good. So anyway, I've rambled about this long enough and said the same thing probably over and over again. Sorry about that. I'm going to finish up now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your feedback. And goodbye.